Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of me reacting to these scary story animations. We got three good ones for you guys in today's episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First video of today's episode is a mystery box dark web horror story. This comes from Dr. No Sleep. I will leave the link to everybody's channel in the description box below. But we're about to check out what's in this specific mystery box right now, so let's go. For my birthday, I decided to treat myself to a dark web mystery box gift. Couldn't have bought yourself a it watch. It was a service I a pony, used several times before. A pony wearing a watch? And like, come on, they dude. they had never disappointed, sending heaps of useless but funny things to my doorstep. Right. Happy birthday, Trevor. A note on the box read. They left him a birthday card along with his present. I need to start ordering things from the dark web. Amazon doesn't do that for me. I picked up the package placed on my doorstep and noticed a letter attached to it. Right. There comes a time in every man's life where their skills and knowledge has to be tested. With that in mind, I shall set you out on a treasure hunt. Please follow the instructions within the box and dark web on some reasons, Shakespeare shit. Burn every letter once it has been read or solved. To my surprise, the note was signed by Pete, my best friend since childhood. It was a neat surprise. Dude, but can you stop with that mouth? But I was confused. Stop as opening to how that mouth exactly like that. He's just like he'd gotten involved like with randomly, the anonymous he'll just be like, service. Whether he was just an active user there himself who'd recognize me, all right, let me stop. Or if he'd been contacted by the website, he I loves you, didn't bro. Know. Nevertheless, I want Pete to love it me. Seemed like a I want cool somebody gift. named Pete to love me. My first clue would simply be a piece of paper with two incoherent words written on it. Van Mace. It's an anagram. Come on. I mean, I don't dabble in the dark web, but that's an anagram. Come on, stop playing Could with it. Could it be a name? Nope. Maybe a location? Nope. I sat down with it and contemplated the words in front of me. Did me and him both rub our chin pubes at the same time? I realized it was an anagram. Anagram. The letters just anagram. had to be rearranged on, to form a new meaning. Man cave. Man cave. Was the hidden message. It was a reference to Pete's basement, a place we'd frequently spent our Saturday nights playing video games and drinking whiskey. Okay, I have a theory already. Pete did send the box to him, and he wants to meet him in the man cave because the way he's looking at my guy right now, I bet you he just wants to be like, Happy birthday. I love you. You like my present from the dark, dark web? Yeah. Yeah, well, there's more where that came from. You like those cups of apple juice I got you? I know they're your favorite. How about this game of Call of Duty, huh? It's the best. I would die for you. I burned the letter in accordance with the instructions and quickly made my way to the man cave. There, I used my spare key <laughs> to unlock the door. Hey, imagine though, if Pete wasn't the one that sent him that and it was a different man cave in a different location and Pete was down there clapping somebody's cheeks. Half expecting a surprise <laughs> party. Is Instead, <laughs> all I found... Hey, he's doing the face again. <laughs> Maybe Pete is clapping somebody's cheeks. Was Maybe he's clapping clue. his own cheeks. Who knows? An ace of spades oh. and a picture. Both were Okay, what does that mean? Ace of spades, an forest, and knife. a knifeu. I removed the knife and checked out the clues. Hmm. The picture itself was of a place we frequently went with friends to smoke and relax. Losers! A beautiful field. Come on, guys. Smoking's bad for no you. No one knew about. Yeah? Yeah, my side? It was just a short hike outside the city. I made my way there in <laughs> about an hour. Bro, that's Pete. I'm calling it right now. Pete is in there. He was sending my guy, I forgot what his name is, Trevor, right? He was sending Trevor some kind of clues, and then he killed himself, and now he's gonna frame him for the murder. Happy freaking birthday, Trevor! Our usual place was hidden in the shade beneath some trees. Once there, I noticed Tell me a I'm shovel right. sticking out I'm of the I'm about to foam at the mouth because I feel like I'm right. top was some fresh like My jaw's dirt. locking up because I'm right. <sighs> Spade. <laughs> Ace of spades. Ace of spades. Very creative, yeah. I chuckled yeah, to myself. Without hesitation, I picked it up and started digging through the ground. After less like, than a what minute, else could be there but I a body? something solid. Right? Expecting another clue. Like he about to I find a body or catch a body? One of the two. The dirt. As I put my hand on the cold surface, I 
immediately retracted it in shock. It's a body. That mouth like that, it's a body. It was Pete. It was Pete! I was dirt. right! Guys, I think I need to stop talking. I'm basically one big spoiler alert. Dead from multiple stab wounds to his chest. Dude! In shock, I called the police, devastated by the loss of my best friend. While I waited, I sat down and tried to figure out what the hell had happened. That's when I realized that I had burned every note and oh, that my fingerprints were all damn. over the murder scene. That's clever. From the strange knife in the basement. And then his fingerprints are the on the knife that killed Trevor. And the shovel itself damn. used to bury him. You got played on your birthday, I'd dude. Been set up. Wow, that was actually good. Hey, I'll clap it up to that. I'll clap it up like Pete was clapping somebody's cheeks in that man cave. But hey, I know what you're all thinking right now. The fact that Pete was in there and then Trevor got framed for Pete's murder on his birthday, I think we can all agree. What a twist! Next video of today's episode is called We Are Watching You Llama Arms. Watching me? They better not, I swear. Story by Andre Ferreria. Dude, that's a baller name right there. That's a sexy name. Christian Johnston, that's a... You know, that's an average, everyday, mundane name. Erica Leticia. Nice. Okay, but they're watching someone. I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you, though? <laughs> I don't think you are. Who's there? Huh? Okay. Come on, it's just a regular guy walking through the fog. It's nobody crazy. Everything okay, ma'am? Why would you random- uh oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have paused that at that time. Yeah, I think you gotta run at that point. If you see somebody looking like that, you just gotta go- Huh. Damn shoe. It was tied, bro. And then you untied it just to tie it. That's like when socially awkward people at parties check their phone and then start refreshing their phone just because they want to make it look like they're doing something. There's he untied no it just to tie it. It's a quiet neighborhood. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. Maybe, baby. Now's not the time to be taking a nap right there, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying. What the? Yo, can somebody get this freaking what that mouth do bald penis head looking ass out of my face before he catches these hands? Like, I don't got hands, but he can catch them. He told us. Is there him. something I can help you with, sir? Brains. Come on, man. You're seriously freaking me out. Uh-oh. Little kid with a spear. Or he's doing some kind of dance. You know, with one of those dancing canes? On some Charlie Chaplin shit. Oh, that's an umbrella, dude. Open it, you dumbass kid! What's up with the kids of this generation? They have an umbrella while it's raining, and they won't even open it. I swear, sometimes... Okay, alright, I get it. No one calls me on my birthday, so this is, I guess, Nobody what you decided to birthday? do instead. I would've called Listen, him on his guys, birthday. Listen, guys, I played enough Silent Hill, okay? Just to tell this him that nobody nothing. called him on his birthday. I'd be like, ha! We nobody are called watching you. you. What the hell? You like to be seen. Oh, crap. What in the world? Hey, she's like three feet tall. I would've just kicked her like a football. You scared no little girl with an umbrella? Uh-oh. Don't look forward, my guy. Don't look forward, my guy. Don't... There's no one here. What? What's happening? Huh? Oh. Does he see dead people? Yeah, there you go. Can that rock hit ten you people? Like to be seen. What the fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> please be a dream. Please, please be a dream. It's a dream. What the? Night of the Consumers? Retail does that to you, huh? How the 
hell did I get here? Where are those people? What were those people? Hello? Is anyone... anyone here? This is one of the weirdest llama art stories that I've seen. I feel like it's the most nonsensical, too. Ew. Stop it! There you go! Clack, clack! Kid with the umbrella first, kid with the umbrella first. I'm kidding, guys, come on! No, hey! No! There's enough in there. There's enough in there for everybody. Never mind. Next video of today's episode also comes from Dr. No Sleep. It is a school lockdown horror of story. high school. These are always Prom was about two months away. I was pretty good at football, so I guess you could say I was in the more popular crowd. Wow. I never okay. really forced relationships, and women usually just came to me. Dang, dude. My bad with the flex, my G. Thanks for letting me borrow the Lambo. I'll return it as soon as I can. Sheesh. I had heard from other people that Sarah wanted to go to prom with me. Sarah was in the same grade as me. She was such a beautiful girl that even seniors wanted to date her. Okay. I knew that Sarah had just gotten out of a long relationship with another guy named Trent. He was a freshman at our high school. I bet you Trent and was is a little asshole. off in a way that's hard to describe. There was gossip in our school that there was something mentally wrong with him. The zoom outs and zoom are kind of choppy. Because of the recent breakup guys. between Sarah and Trent, I didn't really want to ask butter. her to prom. All of Sarah's friends badgered me relentlessly to go to prom with her. They assured me everything would be fine. Even my guy friends told me I needed to grow a pair and ask her to prom. Finally, one afternoon, I intercepted Sarah. Dang, she looking like the white version of Dora the Explorer. She looking like Dorothy the Traveler. Era in the parking lot and asked her to prom. She was delighted, and I went home feeling like I was on top was of the world. That was the dumbest joke. My feeling I'm so of euphoria sorry, guys. faded. I'm so sorry. And I opened put a Snapchat <laughs> notification on my phone. It was Trent. Oh, he was trying geez. to add me on Snapchat. Trent. I thought I couldn't just ignore him, so Not I added the him dick back. Pics, Trent. Immediately, I received a Snapchat message from him. It read, So, I heard you asked my girlfriend Sarah to prom. I would have been like, ex-girlfriend, sucker. Stop I quickly cow. replied, You guys broke up a month ago. Yeah. He didn't respond back yeah. to me. I dreaded yeah. running into Trent the next day at school. You tell him. I just felt so bad Grow for Trent. Pair. I started to think that it wasn't even worth going to prom with Sarah over this nonsense. Yeah, forget Sarah. The next day at school, I didn't see Trent anywhere. I usually passed him on the way to a few of my classes. I thought it was odd not seeing him. I asked around and found out that he never made it to school. I was relieved that there was no chance of running into him. My relief was crushed by a Snapchat notification. It was Trent. This time, he sent me a video. I didn't even want to watch it. I tried to think of what the video could be, but nothing came to my mind. An hour went by, and I finally decided to watch it. The video was of a shooting range. Trent was recording in one, and had a pistol in the other. He proceeded to fire multiple shots into a target about 20 feet in front of him. I was shocked. I thought I was in a movie, and that this couldn't be real. I told my friends what I had witnessed, and eventually word got around to the whole school. I was called down to the dean's office. Multiple teachers and faculty were there. Yeah, the principal would have figured it out. He had that big That's ass you, brain. Bitch. He would have thought of something. God damn with that enormous head. I told them everything I had seen. After telling them my story, my phone buzzed in my pocket. I thought to myself, oh no, here we go again. Oh no, not I pulled this my guy. phone out. It was Trent again. I told everyone in the room that Trent sent me another Snapchat video. They all gathered around in anticipation. I opened it. The video was of a crematorium. The footage showed a How body the on, a conveyor did he get belt in there? on its way to an incinerator. The caption said, This is you. Everyone in the room, including myself, were horrified. Immediately, the principal put the whole school on lockdown and called the police. Trent was later arrested by the police. How did he get in the Trent crematorium? was never charged with anything, but our high school expelled him. I figured out that Trent's grandparents actually owned a crematorium, oh, okay. and that's where the footage came from. Shut my ass up. I still ended up taking Sarah to prom. Savage. Savage. Clap it up for the savage one time. Clap it up for the savage. Last video of today's episode comes from my guy, Juan C Entertainment. This video is called, I got a message from my friend who got murdered. Oh, and you guys see it right there.
So there was no point in me reading it. I'm kidding. I like saying murder. It happened a few years ago. I was hanging out at the local mall with a couple of my friends, just chatting, as usual. Just chatting. Just doing a little shopping. All my friends had social media accounts, like Facebook or Instagram. And they would focus on it sometimes when we were goofing around together. Drake, one of my friends, was saying that he met Drizzy a girl Drake. from Facebook. He also told us that he really liked her, and that he was going out with the girl that night. We joked with him that he was going to be going out with some 40-year-old man. Ah. Like, those kind of jokes. You He's know. like, yeah, imagine. A couple of hours later, we had to go back home. So we all left the mall. When I got back home, I went inside my room to watch some TV. It was almost midnight when I got a text from my friend saying, Hey, just finished the date. So I texted back, Was he pretty? <laughs> he replied, Very funny. The jokes aside, my car broke down and I need you to pick me up. Then he sent me an address. Well, I'm not the kind of person who ignores when my friend needs a hand. What a good friend. What a great guy. You know what? I would clap it up for how great of a guy he is. But I spent that on the last video where that dude was smashing that one crazy dude's ex-girlfriend. So I asked my parents if I could take the car and they said yes. I grabbed my phone and texted again. On my way. Soon I got to the address he sent me and parked in the driveway. While I was going up the stairs, I kind of had a creepy feeling, as if I was being watched. Why would you go inside anyway, of that I rang the doorbell and heard someone place. say, Come in. At first, I didn't recognize the voice. It was neither my friend's voice nor a female voice, so I just figured that it might be the girl's dad. Well, I was a bit surprised that the door was already open, but anyway, I walked in. And when I closed the door behind me, I saw this man watching TV with the girl and my friend. Yo. I said, hey, Drake. However, <gasps> for some reason, he didn't respond. Dude, I'm getting the chills already. I had a strange feeling. Just knowing what this video so is already, I'm getting the chills. I slowly walked up to Drake. And I would never forget what I saw at that moment. Oh, the my girl God. And my friend Drake were stabbed. And they were already dead. Were their eyes gouged out too? They were put in a position in a way that it looked like they were sitting. So I thought they were just watching TV like that. I looked over at the man watching TV. And I saw oh that he was holding a bloody God. knife in one hand. And my friend's phone in his other hand. <gasps> he Dude. was smiling. The man turned his head toward me. Oh stood up and said, Hello young man. Hello young man. It's oh your God. turn. I, I tried to run out of the door, but because no! I was laughing so loudly, I was terrified, and I couldn't move. But there was no choice. When he approached me, I abruptly damn, kicked him, knocked damn. him down, and managed to run about. outside. That's what I'm talking Fortunately, about. Fortunately, he didn't chase after me. But I, I don't know what kind of sound I made there just now. I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> I think I was just so in shock about what just happened, because I feel like this is true. And it's seriously messed up and creepy. But I don't know what sound I just made. I was like, nah, nah. I didn't care. I just got in my car and drove off straight to my home. As soon as I got home, I woke my parents and told them about what had happened. And of course, they contacted the police. The police arrived pretty fast and raided the house. But didn't find my friend, the girl, or even the man. This day... They still haven't found any clues. No way. Now I'm grown up and I'm living on my own with my wife and newborn daughter. No way they wouldn't have found the I bodies by now. I always think about what would have happened to me if I was unable to run away that day. And my friend Drake, his face keeps coming up Ugh. in my mind all the time since then. Oh, that then. gives me the chills, dude. That gives me the freaking chills. That was a good way to end the episode because, man, I'm not flexing, guys. I'm not flexing, but I got goosebumps somewhere. Wait, where'd they go? Where'd they go? I'm not flexing, but where'd they go? All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Reacting to these Scary Story Animations. If you guys want me to do any more episodes of this series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>